Long ago, there was a farm nearby where, close to where I live. It's it's been around before I was even born. It the legend has it that there was a a lightning storm and it hit a scarecrow that was that was by a grave there of one of the workers. And the scarecrow came to life, haunting whatever comes near it. In order for this there could be a cause of death for people that have seen the scarecrow around. There could be a possibility that anyone could be the next. So here's how this story will go for, for what I'm telling you of when I saw this scarecrow. So once I was just sleeping in bed and then I felt a breeze brush against me. It felt like kind of hay. It was around Halloween. Of course, I just thought it was a dirty prank because most people around here are prankful. And, and since most of the time, people have been very disturbing and acting weirdly lately. Most of them have been acting scared. And I I didn't see anything that could have done it. So I looked and I kept looking around. I didn't I didn't understand. I thought it might have been something just fake. So I just walked away and went back to bed. I checked the entire house. I didn't see anything except for upstairs. Because upstairs is where the most most of the I always thought the scarecrow would, wouldn't come until now. This happened just last night. I was, I was in bed and as I said, something woke me up and I checked the entire house. But soon I decided it would be best if I went upstairs to check. So I did without waking anyone up. There was nothing there. Suddenly I noticed it was 2 a.m wasn't a haunted hour, so I knew that someone might have woken me up, my parents, because it was, because it was, because it was summer, and of course, I'm already out of school, so they could have woken me up, just, just because of that, but I was wrong. I looked around, and I noticed that I found a piece of hay on the ground. I looked outside. It was suddenly 3 a.m. by that time. By the time I looked at my watch, I was looking outside looking for any evidence of something weird. And then, that's when I saw it. I saw something staring at me. I just saw white eyes staring in the darkness. As I heard birds chirping, I knew day was almost coming. And then the scarecrow just started moving. He was coming closer toward these crows, and the crows didn't move. Then the crows started flying toward me with their, with carrying worms in their mouth. Then they dropped them really weirdly, and they just dropped them right next to me. As I was walking, one of the crows flew right over me and landed on my head. I, I started wiggling around to get the bird off, so the bird flew and hit the scarecrow. The scarecrow didn't do anything. He just started moving. And then he he looked at me with his, one of his eyes was tore, was, to, was tore up. One of his eyes had blood on it. The other one of his hands had a knife in it, and he had blood on the other side of the knife and he had blood all over his hands and he looked at me and I picked up a rock and and I started holding it in the air and I shouted over to the scarecrow what do you want from me and he didn't re reply so I threw the rock at him and it just hit his, t his toe and then he jumped up with his foot and started walking away and then 
and then he just left a piece of hay behind and it was really disturbing because it said I'll be back tonight when you don't expect me to and then I looked at the sticky note again that was on a piece of hay in him and I grabbed the piece of hay it might be my only hope to have the hay and a rake tonight so if you any of you guys see a scarecrow at 3 a.m with one of his eyes ripped out and one of his eyes clawed up and blood around it just just hide in your room and lock your door or else you might have a similar story to what i had that night